when I look at the data on origin of life, it screams out to me that the way you are proposing is not the way it happened. But more fundamentally is this. We can take a cell and you can deconstruct a cell. You can take, get the lipids out, you can get the proteins out, you, you can get the, the DNA, the RNA, you can get the small molecules. You can put those in discrete bottles. Give them to any group of scientists anywhere in the world and say, I give you all these discrete bottles, this is just a deconstructed cell, put the cell back together for me, will you? Because <laughs> somehow on an early earth this came together. They say, well, cells used to be much simpler back then. Okay. Biophysicists have computed the simplest of cells. What kind of cell could you have? How simple could it be and still have life? You have about a dozen different subsystems that need to be in place. Right. And then you have all the, the, the non-covalent interactions that are needed, which is an enormous amount of things. Non-covalently, how to have things aligned. Nobody knows how that, that does it. In a single yeast cell, you have 10 to the 79 billion protein-protein non-covalent interactions. 10 to the 79 billion, the, the number of particles in the universe is 10 to the 90. This is 10 to the 79 billion. So, so that's not gonna happen. So nobody can reconstruct a cell, so how? In your little pond would all this happen even if you had all the molecules?